All right, today we're gonna to talk about how to invest your first $1,000. Don't forget to click subscribe below to get our additional videos on financial education. The first question you need to ask yourself is, do you know how to invest? It's fairly easy to save up $1,000, but if you don't know what to do with it, you're going to make mistakes and you won't have a good first time investing experience. So the first thing you need to do is ensure you have the proper financial education. You don't have to go to an MBA finance program at a well-known university or take endless amounts of courses to learn how to invest. Really all you need to do is read a couple books and have a fairly good understanding of what makes a good company. One book that I recommend is A Random Walk Down Wall Street. It's a good overview book that is basically uh, the right amount of depth of, of information, but it also covers a wide area of information. So a lot of books go really deep into one subject and you really, it's overkill for the new investor. You just need to have a general overview of investing, be able to determine what investing method is right for you. So for the new investor that's just getting started, I would recommend using uh, something that's simple like an S&P index fund. Uh, the great thing about S&P index funds is they are they have a low fees, they're diversified amongst a wide variety of companies in different industries, and, and they're relatively simple. It's, you're not investing in one stock and riding all of your uh, money on one stock. And this is just a, a temporary measure. As you build up your financial knowledge, you can move into other investments but it's just a good place to get started, park the money, get a little bit familiar with the stock market and mutual funds and how, you know, how, how those pieces interact together. And then once you're more comfortable with say single stocks and researching companies, you can move into re uh, purchasing other companies. So once you've invested your first thousand dollars, the next step's easy, gain more financial knowledge and understanding and save your next thousand dollars and just keep repeating that cycle. It's a never-ending process. There's always more to learn.